The Story of a Gazelle by Ellen Fuzz Long ago, there lived a poor man named Musa. One day, he found a gold coin in the dusty road. Ah, I'll buy a delicious meal, he said. He hurried to the village market. There, a trader was selling wild animals. Among them was a gazelle. Musa noticed the sad look in the gazelle's eyes. I'll buy that gazelle instead and set it free, he decided. To his surprise, he found that the gazelle could talk. Thanks for freeing me, gazelle said. I'll find food to repay you for your kindness. Wait here. Gazelle searched and searched, but she found no food. Tired, she sat down to rest. On the ground, she spied a large, shiny diamond. I'll give this diamond to the Sultan, Gazelle said. I'll say it is from my master. She ran to the palace. Ah, what a fine diamond, said the Sultan. I would like to meet your master. Bring him to me. Gazelle ran as fast as lightning. Master, Sultan wants to meet you. I can't meet the Sultan like this. My clothes are in rags, said Musa. Don't worry, follow me, said Gazelle. They hiked through valleys and hills. They stopped by a lake. Jump in the mud, Gazelle ordered Musa. Musa was confused, but he trusted Gazelle, so he did it. Gazelle raced back to the palace. My master has been attacked by robbers and thrown in the mud, she told the Sultan. I will come at once, the Sultan cried. With his servants, he followed Gazelle. Seeing Musa covered with mud, the Sultan said, How awful! You have been robbed! Come back to my palace, and my servants will take care of you. When they arrived at the palace, the servants gave Musa fine new clothes and prepared a delicious feast for him. During the meal, the Sultan introduced Musa to his daughter, Naima. She asked about Gazelle. I bought her at the market to set her free, Musa said. How very kind of you, said the Sultan. He invited Musa to stay the night at his palace. The next morning, the Sultan said, You have a kind heart, Musa. I would like to give you a job. As my top adviser, I believe you can help me make good decisions. As a gift, the Sultan gave Musa a palace. Shortly thereafter, Musa married the Sultan's daughter, Naima. I have a wife and a home. I am happy at last, declared Musa. Time passed. Musa worked hard to help the Sultan. Each day, loyal Gazelle asked to see Musa, but the answer was always the same. I am too busy, Musa said. Gazelle hung her head with sorrow. She missed her master. I have no reason to be here, Gazelle wept. One night, she left the palace. The next morning, Naima asked, Where is Gazelle? I don't know, Musa said. If Gazelle has left, I am to blame. She helped me, yet I didn't treat her well in return, he said. Musa was determined to find his friend. He searched the low valleys and broad plains, but still no sign of Gazelle. Days became weeks. Musa was discouraged. I know. I'll look at the market where we first met, he said. There in a stall was Gazelle. Gazelle, I found you. I'm sorry I have not been good to you. I neglected you. I never thanked you for all you did for me. I'm filled with shame. 
Musa cried. Gazelle looked at her master. I can see by the tears in your eyes that you are truly sorry. I forgive you. So Gazelle returned home with Musa. From that day on, Musa always remembered to return the kindness of others. <laughs>